God is saying to you today, I need you to maintain a high level of concentration for the next few days. It is not long until I will bestow upon you the blessing that you have been patiently waiting for. And the adversary is aware of this. With the help of people you know, the adversary will attempt to divert your attention with insignificant matters. You should not reply to it. Carry on with your day in a calm and collected manner, and be prepared to receive the blessing. Like this video if you have a belief in God. In this day and age, God is telling you that you have persevered through the most difficult of situations. As things began to change for you, many people abandoned you and disregarded you. I gave you the power to survive that, and there were moments when you did not even realize that it was me. Not only did you make it through the storm, but you also developed as a result of it. It is not the same as you. I did not create you to blend in with the crowd, rather, I made you to be unique. I am about to praise your faithfulness at this very moment. I'm going to take you to levels that you never ever considered were possible. I'm ready to take you to new heights. Request that it be sent to me. God is speaking to you today and saying, Er I am aware that you are going through a difficult time right now. It's no secret that your funds are tight. I am well aware that you are exerting a great lot of effort in order to deal with everything that life is presenting to you. I realize that there are moments when you feel like giving up. However, I want you to rely on me, and I will guide you in the right direction. That is because I am the path. Your name is written on a blessing that I have obtained. There is no need to give up before the blessing arrives. He is speaking to you at this moment. It is going to be all right for you. The devil is beginning to lose his hold on the situation. Let us not give up at this moment in time. I have chosen to bestow upon you a gift that the entire world requires. What you need to do is work. You play a role in the lives of others. You are a precious person. Begin walking now and get up. You are going to wait, you are going to pray, you are going to become irritated, you are going to doubt everything, but you are going to keep being patient. You will continue to pray and wait for the answer to your prayers. And it will ultimately take place at a time when you are least expecting it to do so. Never stop believing, never stop trusting, and never stop hoping. These are the three things you should never stop doing. You must believe that God is prepared to grant you any want that you have ever had. You need to realize that the timing should be determined by him not by you. Jesus responded by saying that, a God uses pain to grow and perfect me. You do not understand what I am doing at this moment. But in the future, you will realize that you had the intention of hurting me. To achieve what is now being done, however, God meant for it to be for the better. Many lives were spared as a result. As opposed to being like me, you should allow persistence to accomplish its work so that you might become mature and complete. In the absence of anything, he is attempting to lead you away from the clutches of distress and into a place that is open and unrestricted. We are glad to inform you that you owe us nothing. Our congratulations are extended to you as you sit comfortably at your table, which is heaped with delicious food. You've been accepted, everything is paid in full. Your deadline has been extended to, and we have increased your limit to. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would claim it and accept it by faith. I am speaking to you today, my child, and I want you to know that you deserve so much more. If you are currently locked in relationships that you have outgrown, if you are confined to dead-end occupations that you have no passion for, and if you are involved in activities that offer you no joy, today is the final day of your suffering. Type AIR 222 AIR if you believe.
Taking a leap of faith is something that you should do now. Rest, my dearly adored child. God said, A e child, I welcome you into the loving arms of my peace. You think you witnessed love for the first time. It was like a pleasant breeze that arrived from nowhere and took your heart away. It appeared to be love, and it truly felt like love. So much so that it started to sound like love. In spite of everything, you came to the realization that this cannot be love when the challenges and opportunities to demonstrate your worth came your way. I created you, I am familiar with you, I want you to heal right now, I want you to be near to me and I want you to work on yourself, and I will send you the one when the time is right. Before God sends you into your next season, He will prepare you, He will take some things from you, and He will also add what you need. It is unrealistic to anticipate that you would be able to move on without having to let go of certain things, whether it be people, stuff, or obsolete routines. When it comes to your life, you should never settle for less than what you deserve and have faith in the Lord's timetable. There is a possibility that it is not quite what you anticipated, but you are just at the perfect spot at the just right time. Your narrative is brilliantly written by him, the God who is the author. Through the implementation of a single, little adjustment, you may initiate the flow of unbounded prosperity, happiness, joy, freedom, and self-assurance into your life. If you're a follower of God, subscribe to our channel. This is a very obvious statement. More time should be spent with God. Those times when you feel like engaging in activities that provide a lower reward, such as going on social media, viewing a movie, television show, or YouTube, please pick up your Bible. Put on some music that is meant for worship, and then pray to God. If you seek God with all of your heart, you will not only find Him, but you will also discover the wonderful things that He has to offer. It is not a coincidence that all of the things that our tired, empty, and broken hearts are starving for are also things that you will find if you seek God with all of your heart. Thanks be to you, Heavenly Father, for hearing and answering my plea. My life is filled with prayers and miracles that I accomplish on a daily basis. I am grateful for the simple fact that I am able to take a breath and that I am able to wake up this morning. Please help me to never take my health and the people I care about for granted. Whenever I am confronted with unforeseen events, please assist me in maintaining my faith and keeping my attention on you. Right now, I am in desperate need of your assistance because without you, my God, I am nothing. In the name of Jesus, I beg you now. You must travel not by sight but by faith in order to succeed. Continue to anticipate it. Be sure to maintain your faith. Make sure to keep talking about it happening. Acting as if it is going to happen. Feeling like it will take place. Like it's going to happen, you walk. Relinquish your assurance. If you have trust, you will be able to go places that you would not be able to go on your own. God is unquestionably capable. Simply put, He is waiting for your trust to catch up with Him. God has a way of exceeding our expectations, even when we are beginning to feel overwhelmed by the demands of the situation. The only thing that is required of us, however, is to have faith in His timetable and to persistently follow His plan. This illness is still within God's power to overcome. Despite everything, God is still able to provide for them financially. Even in the midst of terrible despair, God is still able to provide comfort. It is possible for God to bring about such healing. This is the partner for whom you have hoped and waited. In addition to the fact that he is capable of doing anything, God is also capable of doing more than you could possibly anticipate. Have faith in him. If it is God's intention for you to receive it, 
then the blessing will be perpetually associated with your name. Continue to walk in the path that God wants you to walk, there is nothing that you can or cannot do to change that. And this is the reason why it is essential to avoid harboring negative emotions or overthinking the way things are going to play out in your life. Everything that you experience in life is accompanied with a certain timing and a purpose that should be understood. As you start to rely on faith rather than sight, you will come to the realization that the circumstances you are going through are really working in your favor rather than against you. You will soon be able to put an end to what you are going through right now. Even though God is aware that you are in the fire, he is using the fire to smooth out the rough edges of your character. Bring the contaminants to the surface of the water. I want you to have faith in the procedure. A wonderful thing is being done in you by God. When you emerge from this experience, you will be more powerful, more intelligent, and in a better position than you were before. There is a new level that you are going to reach. You are going to undergo preparation in order to be ready for the dream and destiny that God has placed within you and has planned for you. I would like you to express your gratitude to the Father for making me flawless tonight. A high list is not something that God maintains. The ways in which you have excelled in life. If you have had your big break and you thank him in your acceptance speech, then sure, such things delight him. Even if you offer him your accomplishment, he does not focus on whether or not you have had your victory. On the other hand, he is more concerned with your finding out who his strong prayer is in order to thwart all of the schemes that the adversary has. On this day, I pray to you, Almighty God, with a lot of confidence and gratitude. The willingness to pray to you for heavenly assistance. I would want to pray to you today and beg you to remove all of my adversaries from my life. My adversaries are numerous. They are only interested in harming my feelings. The only thing they want is to see me in pain. I have no idea how I will be able to combat them. That is the reason why I am requesting your assistance. Because of this, I am requesting your protection. And it is for this reason that I beseech you to provide me the strength to withstand all of the assaults that my adversaries launch against me. Eliminate from my life all those individuals who are jealous. If you're a follower of God, subscribe to our channel. Take away from my life all those people who have a strong desire for me and who want to watch me go through pain. With the help of your energies and your abilities, I will be able to fight and defend myself against the assaults of the adversary now and in the future. Continue to be by your side. I pray in the name of the Almighty God. I pray that the Lord would assist me to avoid bringing condemnation into my life through the words that I utter when I need to express my life. Because I don't want to bring condemnation upon myself, I don't want to say something that is ignorant or irresponsible. As an alternative, please assist me in uttering words that offer people redemption, love, and joy. Please instruct me on how to speak positively about myself and my life in general. I ask for your assistance in ensuring that I never use things that are not uplifting to you or that cause you to feel sorrow. Put a guard over my heart and mouth so that my words bring life to me and to people who hear me. Your words will justify you, and your words will condemn you. Put a guard over my heart and mouth. Even if I have the desire to stop, I continue to let myself down. You are the source of my strength, I am aware of it. Assist me in making use of it. Please assist me in distancing myself from this drug that is both addicting and destructive. In order to avoid destroying my body, I need your assistance. Build up my mental fortitude and allow me to get rid of this from my life. 
Help me heal all of the relationships that have been damaged as a result of this. To resist this drug, please assist me. And please grant me serenity. As I say, a Amen. One of the most powerful powers that humans possess is the ability to pray. The ability to communicate with God, who will always listen to you and assist you, is a means of escape. It is a discussion that never comes to an end with someone who loves you more than anything else in the world. If you believe in God, you should subscribe to our channel. A new door is going to open for you, God is telling you today. He is speaking this to you. You will soon be able to put an end to the difficulties that you are presently experiencing. In the near future, you are going to experience a sudden surge of possibilities and blessings that will make the path possible for you. Take your time. Have faith in my timing. It will take place very soon. The one who maintains their faithfulness in the face of adversity, since if they are successful in passing such a test, they will be rewarded with the life that God has promised to those who love him. The Lord is not yet finished with you. What you are experiencing right now is just the beginning of what is to come. Your latter days will be better than your earlier ones. The moment has come for God to take you to the next level of existence. Despite the fact that your current circumstances may be discouraging, you should not let them discourage you since where you begin is not where you will end up. On this level, the grandeur that you have experienced is but a peek into the greatness that is still to come. Be prepared for the days that are to come. It is only going to get better if you continue to go forward. Even if you began with a small amount, you will finish up with a significant amount. In order to get power and a breakthrough, pray using scripture. Jesus Christ, Lord, you are the one who bestows strength. The weak are given strength. In this dark and treacherous world, you are my defender. Grant me the fortitude to triumph over every difficulty that the adversary has in store for me, Lord. You are aware of my battles and my sufferings. You are aware of my difficulties and my unhappiness. I pray that the Lord will come to me this night and use his healing power to heal all of my problems. Lord, I pray that you may spark my love and trust in the job that you are doing. Permit me to put my faith in you during my struggles. Please grant me the fortitude to persevere through this. In any kind of test, maintain your confidence and perseverance. Lord, I am certain that you will save me from any and all predicaments that may arise. As I wait for my miracle, I am confident that it will eventually occur. Amen. Thank you so much, Father. Pay the tithe. Awareness is what I am. In order to confirm. You, God, are the recipient of all of my concerns, troubles, anxieties, and uncertainties. You have unfathomable powers. Help me become more capable, direct me, and show me the way. Please elucidate to me. It is open. It is the invisible that brings everything into the visible realm. Please open doors for me. Help me to have more faith so that I can trust the process. Up until it materializes for you, always believe in it. Never overthink the possible outcomes of a situation. Have no concern regarding the time when it will take place. Set the mode to the quickest. Express your appreciation in advance. Simply said, you must believe it. Experience it. Never put yourself in the position of being the victim. Instead of searching for oneself in the world, you should awaken to the world that is inside you. The realization that your inner treasure cannot be taken away by any external event or being is an essential part of becoming aware of it. You are not defined by your history, yet it may help you become more refined. Accept your path, acknowledge the challenges you faced, 
and make use of your experiences to help you develop and to motivate others. The narrative you've written is a masterpiece in the making. Every single chapter has the potential to alter not just your life, but also the lives of people who are in your immediate vicinity. Things are going to get better for your narrative. This day, you are going to be blessed by a source that you did not anticipate receiving it from. Keep an open mind. Carry on with the game. You are going to experience a positive event that will be beneficial to you. There is a guide guiding you. Pay attention to your eyesight. You can always rely on your spirit to determine what is best for you. Additionally, it will encourage you to take actions that are in accordance with the truths that are most important to you. Close your eyes and try to visualize the most ideal version of the situation. That is the true nature of your ego. If there is any part of you that does not believe it, let go of it. Get in touch. Connect to everything, but do not attach to anything directly. Fear stems from the origin of attachment. When you come to terms with the fact that you are already whole, you will no longer be afraid of losing something. The occurrence of such a potent omen is going to take place. Try not to be scared of taking a significant step in the direction of your goals and aspirations. There is nothing that can prevent you from constructing the life that you deserve. If you prioritize your objectives and values over your fears, then we will be able to live in a state of complete alignment. All the way through your voyage, you are being safeguarded and watched over by other people. Type a yes a to claim this blessing. During the course of this week, you are going to experience something quite special. Maintain an open mind to the possibility of surprise and delight. Have an open mind and be prepared for something new to enter your life. Each and every one of your dreams comes with the ability to also ensure that it is realized. Trust in your own abilities. It is the limitless, creative potential that is inside you that is directing you to give yourself a chance. If you're a follower of God, subscribe to our channel. It is tonight that I will make my way into your dreams, as well as provide you with a clear direction and a new perspective on yourself and your personal life. You will be the recipient of the angelic light that I shall channel. I am going to heal you and I am going to soothe you. Something that is currently giving you worry or dragging you down will eventually become something that you are proud of. You should never, ever allow anything to prevent you from doing what you feel deep down in your heart to be the right thing to do. When you feel fear, it is an indication that you are getting closer to your development edge. To develop, you must face your fears. I believe in my own abilities. In order to prove that your breakthrough is on the way, it won't be long until what you're going through makes perfect sense. Right now is not the time to give up, rather, it is the time to persist a little bit longer. Although you are almost finished with this cycle, it was a challenging time for you. The benefits that you have been hoping for are on their way to you. Dear Lord, I adore you. In want to reassure you, dear courageous one, you are not overly emotional. There is not a lot of feeling in you. It is not too sensitive of you. There is a continual conflict going on between your heart and all of your feelings, with each feeling vying to be the dominant one. The energy of other people are felt by you. When they are either pleased, sad, furious, false or true, you are able to feel it. You are able to recognize when they are being dishonest and when they are being sincere. You are not a feeble person. Enhanced intuition is a talent that you have been given the potential to possess. There is no reason to be embarrassed about your anxiety. It serves as a pointer. It takes a unique sort of person to be as truly compassionate as you are. 
which is why you are one of the few people who possess this unusual attribute. It is not your weakness that you are nice. Rather, it is your strength. Own up to who you are. You possess a courageous and wonderful spirit. At times, it is possible that the reason you are experiencing feelings of exclusion is because God is urging you to obey Him even more intensely. If you're a follower of God, subscribe to our channel. A place where other people might not be prepared to go, and this can be a lonely place at times. However, this is only true until you learn that while you are with Him, you are never alone, and that He will place others on your path when they are need to be there. God is speaking to you now and saying, Ere I have watched you, I have watched everything you have been through, and I have watched you fall. I've seen you suffer from an injury. I've seen you making a valiant effort to get back up. I have observed you progressing. You have developed throughout time. I have witnessed the amount of effort that you have put out in order to become the greatest version of yourself. I am able to glimpse your heart today, and it is just stunning. It is honest. Furthermore, it is prepared to be loved in the same manner as I love you. Prepare yourself, for what is about to happen is going to be all that you have been hoping for at this point. At the moment, she is simply enjoying the finest life possible. She is preoccupied with who she is. She is gaining a deeper appreciation for who she is, and she is thrilled about the path that she is on. And she is looking forward to what comes after this. She has a great deal of ambitions. She has a very long list of goals and aspirations, and she is always discovering new things that she is passionate about. She is training herself to be more impulsive. She is training herself to take chances. And she is always pushing herself to do things that are outside of her comfort zone. To put it another way, she is just pursuing the things that bring her joy at the moment. Her spirit is being nourished by the things that she is pursuing. If you love God, please subscribe to our channel. In addition, if I'm being really honest with you, she couldn't care less about what other people are doing. Regardless of what other people think, she could not care less about it. Because she is experiencing a great deal of tranquility in her life at the moment. With so much light, so much development has taken place. To have such faith. And there is a great deal of optimism. And at this very now, she is just enjoying the finest life she has ever lived and there is absolutely nothing or no one that can stand in the way of her doing so. If you believe in God, you should subscribe to our channel. For the time being, just have faith. Have faith in who you are. Believe in the place you are. And have faith in the direction you are heading. Please have faith that God is bringing people into your life and removing them from your life in order to lead you to the place that he wants you to be. For the time being, just have faith. Have faith. Have faith. You must have faith in your capabilities, in your talents, and in the fact that every challenge presents you with a chance to learn, an, an opportunity, opportunity to, to develop, and an opportunity to become the finest version of yourself. For the time being, just have faith. Have faith in him, have faith in his strategy. Believe in his will, have faith in his approach. You should also have faith that, whatever he has previously written, is superior than anything you could have ever written. Be sure to look for yourself. In order to achieve success, you need to create objectives that are nearly impossible to achieve. If you establish a goal that is easily reachable, without requiring a lot of effort or critical thinking. You will be stuck with something that is not up to your genuine ability and potential type air amen. Air to manifest thanks for watching. Subscribe for more God's messages.